Hello friends, family, and other creatures of YouTube. My name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and welcome to the video. Today's another COVID-19 update, talking about a topic that really isn't discussed a lot, monoclonal antibodies. I'm gonna be briefly talking about how monoclonal antibodies work, how they help reduce symptoms of COVID, and then the newest update on how they're impacting the Omicron variant. Monoclonal antibodies have been around for quite some time and have actually been used to treat other medical conditions, such as certain types of cancer, as well as chronic inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and Crohn's disease. In the context of COVID-19, monoclonal antibodies are used in order to help prevent worsening symptoms. So how do these things actually work? If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I tend to use the phrase spike protein quite often. This is the essential protein that COVID-19 uses in order to infect human cells via attachment to the ACE2 receptor. The way that monoclonal antibodies work is essentially they're like little pronged shape proteins that fit nicely around the spike proteins of COVID-19. Covering all the little spike proteins on COVID, monoclonal antibodies don't allow COVID-19 to attach to that ACE2 receptor. This ultimately leads to a reduction in worsening symptoms because it stops COVID from replicating. The key to these monoclonal antibodies is that they have to be designed in just the right way to fit over the structure of that spike protein. As we've seen with the Omicron variant, its spike protein is completely different shape and structure compared to that of the original COVID-19. And because its shape has changed so dramatically, the shape of the monoclonal antibodies will have to change in order to fit the changed shape of the Omicron variant's spike protein. So now that we know a little bit about monoclonal antibodies, who is eligible to receive them? Well, you have to be COVID positive, obviously. They have to be administered within 10 days of onset of symptoms. You can't meet any criteria for hospitalization, and you have to be high risk for worsening disease progression. Being considered high risk falls into many different categories, and a few of the major ones are having a BMI greater than 25, being pregnant, having a compromised immune system, having diabetes, having chronic kidney disease, and having coronary artery disease. Based on these criteria, if you are eligible to receive monoclonal antibodies, according to the studies, it'll reduce your risk of hospitalization by 85%. 85% is quite high. There are three different types of monoclonal antibodies to date, and you do not have to commit these names to memory because they are very difficult to say. The first combo monoclonal antibodies are bamlanivimab and edisivimab. The second are casarivimab and imdevimab. And the third is sotrovimab. And you will notice I had to edit and cut things together because trying to memorize all of those words all at once is difficult. <laughs> not gonna lie, not gonna lie. A quick side note or plug in here any medication that ends in the letters M, A, B is a monoclonal antibody, which is what the letters stand for. If you're ever taking a medication that ends in these last three letters, know that your medication is a monoclonal antibody. You may find this interesting, you may not, but I think it's something cool and maybe it'll stick with you. What we've seen from the studies, especially in recent literature, the first two sets of monoclonal antibodies really aren't very effective against the Omicron variant. According to a preprint study, which I will link in the description below, sotrovimab is actually able to neutralize the Omicron variant very, very well. In this same study, it was found that the other two sets of monoclonal antibodies bodies were very, very ineffective at neutralizing the Omicron variant. In fact, on January 24th, 2022, the emergency use authorization that allowed bamlanivimab and edisivimab to be used has actually been revoked because they're so ineffective against the Omicron variant, which is now the dominant strain around the world. So if you or someone you know falls into the category being eligible to receive monoclonal antibodies for the Omicron variant, be sure you're getting sotrovimab as it's really the only one that's very effective against Omicron. I hope this video was helpful. If there's a topic that you'd really like me to cover and I haven't done a video on it yet, please leave a comment down below. As always, everyone stay healthy and I will see you all on the next one.